Hey everyone, uh, my name is Calvin and welcome to my Procreate watercolor video tutorial. I've uh, upgraded my camera equipment, so hopefully my future videos uh, will look uh, a little bit cleaner and a little bit sharper. Let me know what you think though in the comments. Uh, in this video, I'm going to make this sort of flowery bouquet. Uh, it's really inspired by an Instagram artist I follow and her name is Vicky Odd. I, I'm, I'm really not sure. I think she's either Russian or Ukrainian. But uh, her art is amazing and, and I really love her simple florals uh, and her sort of almost sepia tone uh, colors. So the first thing we're going to do is just open up a new blank watercolor paper texture. And I'm just using the normal paper texture for this one. And uh, for the brushes, I'm just going to use the normal uh, watercolor brush kit. And uh, I'll put links to both of these things uh, in the description. To start, I'm going to grab the uh, abstract round brush and just draw a quick simple flower. And I'm going to choose a pretty light kind of cream color. And I'll set that to a pretty big size and I'll just do a kind of a stroked type of flower like this. There we go, just very simple, very light and airy. Uh, and I'll do a kind of a slightly darker version over here. And I'm just starting out really soft uh, and then pressing harder and then lightening off at the end just so I get those uh, petal shapes. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'll grab my water blender and uh, just sort of blur up the inside here a little bit. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, I want to add some uh, sort of simple details to these petals. So we'll zoom in here and I'm going to do it on a different layer using the same color, but this time I'm going to use the smooth round brush. Uh, I'm going to set that layer to multiply, uh, set it to zero and then slowly raise it up until I can just barely see those. And uh, once I like the way that looks, I'll just merge those two layers together. And next, I wanna add some sort of detail in the center. So I'll make another layer on top and grab a kind of a sort of dark bluish kind of color like that. And I'll use the fine liner pen because it's kind of splattery and uh, medium size. And I'll just dot around in there like this just to add some interesting detail there. And uh, these are pretty loose. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time uh, making it perfect. I think just the important thing to consider is that you have a lot of big ones, but also in contrast, uh, a lot of little small dots as well. And I'll zoom out here. So I think I'm gonna lower the opacity of that one. I'll set it to multiply and just lower it a little bit like that. There we go, and I'll merge those together. So I've got my flowers done. Uh, I'm gonna do one more simple flower here. This time, kind of a desaturated uh, blue-gray color like that. And I'll use that abstract round brush. And I'll just do really small like this. There we go. Uh, that's just a simple flower element. And uh, next I'm going to do a bunch of random leaves, maybe four or five different kind of leaves. So there's my simple leaves here, and uh, I'm just going to grab that water blender and just sort of smooth out some of the hard edges from the uh, brush strokes. But uh, I'll try to leave a few because it does have a cool look. There we go. And uh, I want to add some sort of fine details on these leaves, so I'll make a new layer on top. And using the same dark green color, I'm just going to grab the fine liner pen. And at a pretty small size, uh, I'll just go over and add some really simple line details. There we go. Um, I'll set this layer to multiply and then I'll lower the opacity to zero and just raise it up until I'm kind of happy with the contrast I can see there. Uh, and then I'll just merge those together. So now all of my uh, elements are painted here and they're all on, it looks like I ended up on two different layers. I'll just merge those together into one. And uh, these have a certain level of transparency and I need to get rid of that transparency because I want to overlap all of this. So if I grab the um, selection tool and I circle one of these, I can show you what I mean. So yeah, you can see there's this kind of transparent effect going on. And I want them to be opaque so they cover up uh, whatever's, uh, whatever they're on top of. So I'm just going to go to my layers panel and make a duplicate of my uh, everything layer. And then I'll turn that one off. And then the original layer, I'm going to make it pure white by going to hue, saturation, and brightness. Just setting the brightness at 100%. And it disappears because it's just blending in with the white background. But uh, if I go down here and just drop in a random color below everything, you'll start to see what I did. Um, I basically turned 
the leaves and flowers we painted into a white version of themselves. Uh, and I'm going to make a lot of duplicates to sort of increase the opacity. And this will increase the uh, covering power uh, of the flowers and leaves later on. So I'll just keep making duplicates of this until it's totally opaque and then merging them together. So there we go. I'm happy with that level of opacity. So I'll get rid of that uh, random color layer there. Turn back on my flowers here. And now I've got these two different layers, basically all my flowers and leaves on top and then a pure white version of those same flowers and leaves on the bottom. And I'll pinch those together. So now all of my flowers have this pure white background, but they're all uh, on one layer. So I can't really make an arrangement that way. So I'm going to separate all of these onto their own layers. So I'm going to do that with the selection tool and I'll just circle each element uh, just individually and then click that copy and paste. And uh, it'll make a duplicate on a layer above. Now I'm going to do this for every single element, but you got to make sure you go back uh, after each uh, copy, you need to go back to the original layer, grab that selection tool again, and then circle a different element, uh, copy and paste. It'll make a new layer and you just have to make sure again, you select that original layer and then repeat the process. So there we go, I've uh, duplicated each element from that original layer and I don't need this anymore so I'll just go ahead and delete it. Now since all of my elements are on their own layer, I can just easily create an arrangement. Uh, so I'll make sure all my flowers are on top, they'll be easier to uh, manage that way. Uh, whatever's on top will cover the other elements. So I'll do my flowers first and just arrange those in the middle. And uh, if you want a duplicate of an element, you can just swipe the layer and then duplicate it like that. And uh, if it looks too much uh, like a copy, you can go over to the hue, saturation, and brightness and just maybe shift the hue a little bit, maybe mess with the brightness, uh, and it will look like a different leaf. And uh, for the leaves, the process is basically the same. Uh, I'm just going to select uh, each leaf and uh, then position it with the arrow tool. And uh, if you didn't make enough variety of leaves, uh, you can do the same thing we did with the flowers, just make a copy uh, and then mess with the hue and saturation to make it uh, look like a totally different element. And there we go. That's how I'd make a, a simple sort of bouquet from these sort of leaf and flower elements. And uh, all my leaves and uh, elements here are still separated. So I can save this as, a, as an image, as a JPEG image, and then redo the arrangement to a different arrangement and create many uh, different sort of floral bouquets from the same uh, illustrations. Uh, and this is really useful if you want to make stock photos or you need a bunch of watercolor elements for a greeting card or a wedding invitation or anything like that. Just if you do want to export these as a transparent PNG, so you just have the watercolor elements on a transparent background, uh, there is a little bit of a different process for that. Uh, and I did make a separate video tutorial, so I'll put a link to that video uh, in the description. But uh, other than that, guys, uh, let me know what you think of this. Uh, thank you so much for your support. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.